Hey everyone, it's B Divine and welcome to Divine Miracles and uh, the Tarot Mini Forecast for the Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now today I'm going to be doing um, the Prediction Tarot. Um, uh, also, we're going to get three cards per, per sign and I'm also using the uh, Conscious Spirit deck as well for each uh, person to to see what message is coming in for our spirituality as well and i'm really grateful for you guys being here with me if you want something more in depth please see me at my website divinemiracles.com or email me divinemiracles at gmail.com and we can work out a combo deal or a healing and a reading or something like this whatever it is you want you can get it in a discount because you're watching okay please subscribe and share i'm really grateful that you do that um I really want to get the word out so the more that you guys uh, share things with you know everybody else then people are going to start to know what Divine Miracles is all about so starting with Aries I'm going to be choosing three cards okay and I'm going to put them down in front of me and then I'm going to talk about them um, okay so here we go I'm calling in the angels guides ascended masters loved ones ancestors to please move forward for the readings today this is for Aries asking you to come forward and bring us a special light field message something that we need to hear for Aries sun moon or rising this is your reading three cards so this is the first card and I'm not looking at them until you guys get to see them first card second card and a third card oops that one okay so firstly this is for Aries you are at a place of success okay I like seeing the six of wands come up um, in readings it always brings a sense of success fulfillment triumph you know over many obstacles it's like you finally made it you're finally in a position where you can feel relaxed uh, in yourself in your life you know in your thoughts in everything that you're doing maybe you've just moved office or moved into a new location I, I feel that for some of you but whatever it is you're being rewarded for past efforts and in some cases maybe you're getting a reward or a promotion um, something to do with work or your own creative energies that is bringing a success so whatever you're doing right now you need to keep on doing this okay body mind and spirit are, are working together um, maybe this woman here the queen of cups energy here it could be you or it could be someone who's helped you because this is a very helping helping trustworthy emotional kind of a lady you know she's very in tune she's very in tune with you know uh, the energies around her she's very motherly the only thing about the queen of cups is you don't want to cross this person you don't want this person against you because they tend to use some kind of emotional type of manipulation maybe you know if this is ringing true maybe you've been in a situation like this and you're finally free which could be your successful point here but in this sense we're just saying that the queen of cups is a trustworthy dependable person okay who's perhaps helping you on some level okay uh, to be exactly where you need to be and to do what you need to do or maybe you took her advice and it's led you to this success if you're not in this successful stage at the moment this is coming into your life so make sure that you're you know if you want this to be your future that you're focusing on a positive solution for yourself okay the uh, three of coins comes up in here too so this also speaks about career and change in in career and change in your environment maybe you're an apprentice now you know maybe you've gone from one job where you've got to learn this new position maybe you're just learning the layout of your new office or workspace or home even for example but this also brings in the money that you need too it's like your creative energy is at a peak you know you're in tune with things you're in tune around yourself you've come a really really long way Aries you're standing your ground a little bit more you're following your intuition you're moving forward you're on the right track and it's bringing in the financial security that you're looking for and maybe also some other pursuits that you that could bring in money that you haven't thought of maybe a hobby is going to start to pay off or maybe you want to do card readings or something <clears throat> and 
you know, maybe this is going to give you that little bit of extra money, but it's coming one way or another. And this is a near future reading. So it could be this week or in the next couple of weeks that you start noticing these changes. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm getting used to 6,000 feet elevation, okay? So I've been losing my voice and, you know, kind of feeling all the effects of it. Okay, so here we go. Conscious spirit. What else can we tell Aries? I mean, that looks awesome for you. And I think this is the card I showed you guys. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. I've seen this earlier. <clears throat> the sacral chakra. I feel comfortable in my own body and I'm sensitive to other people's feelings. Okay. Well, we don't want to be too sensitive to other people's feelings, right? Because then we start taking those feelings on as our own and trying to fix everything. The one thing about Aries is, is that if you're in a relationship with someone, you're always the one that's trying to heal the person. You're always the one that's trying to help them to heal, you know? And this is sort of saying that maybe you're, you need to be careful of your sensitivities, chemicals, you know, maybe you can't take certain foods anymore. I know that that happens to me. Like, you know, I can tell straight away if something doesn't sit with me right or if I've tried something and it's like, nope, um, I'm extra sensitive to different things. And you could also be as well. Chemicals, you know, you could be sensitive to dyes or foods or MSGs or, or, or anything like this. And you be, could be becoming more sensitive because you're opening up your abilities even more. You know, whenever we open up our abilities, we're also opening up our sensitivities. So... Be sure that you're bringing all your power back to yourself, uh, working with some darker colored crystals. Like I was just showing Scorpio that I work with this particular rock. And it is only a rock that I found in a gas station, petrol station. And I picked this thing up and I have not been able to put it down since, you know. Um, it's just something about this particular rock that I love. It's just a landscaping rock or whatever. But it's got like all this, the red in it and the quartz in it. Um, and I feel grounded and in my body when I am using it, you know. And you need to because then you can tell whether something's your energy or not, you know. You can feel where you're at. And that doesn't feel right and you can clear it away. Okay, so be, be um, alert to your sensitivities, bringing all your power back to yourself but just by asking for that to take place. Um, and um, also being careful of different chemicals and things in the air, in your environment, in the foods that you might be eating as well that could be having an adverse reaction at the moment. But other than that, Aries, you're really moving into a beautiful new phase of enlightenment. Uh, the money's coming through that you need. The people that you need to help you are going to become available. Um, there's a housewarming or a new house or travel uh, with regards to, you know, moving a new location. There's definitely this movement energy around you um, and try to stay in that. And I'm trying to tell everybody today too, staying in this joyful vibration is like your best friend. You know, you need to be doing that for yourself, okay? So those are the messages for Aries. Thank you for watching. And don't forget the in-depth readings at my website. Now, hi Leo, thank you for joining me. Welcome to um, the readings today for all of Leo. And I am using the <clears throat> prediction pack, um, fortune telling cards. They're not really, they're just, um, Sasha Fenton wrote these. Um, fortune telling by tarot cards, there it is. Okay, I had this deck for uh, like the longest time and then I've lost it and now I finally found it again um, on eBay. So it's a second-hand deck, but I love it. Okay, so Leo, let's see what's coming. I'm doing three cards with this deck, and I'm also using the um, oops, Conscious Spirit deck for a message for us as well. This is my new healing space, and I'm so happy. Um, our new little home, our new little apartment is beautiful. We love it. And there's snow on the ground right in front of me. We're kind of down in the earth our apartment and it's like at head level is street level so it's awesome you can see the snow right out the window it's so cool okay so let's go leo let's see what's going on with you guys okay so i'm asking the angels guides loved ones ancestors to all move forward and surround us all with loving light and energy 
and that the right messages come forward for anybody who's listening right now. And we're calling forward all of our abilities to open, abundance to flow, light to be spread, and healing energy for everybody. Okay, for Leo. Oh, thinking that's the first one. So I'm, I, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm shuffling cards. I'm getting three cards out, and then I'm going to talk. Okay, so the second one. And the third card for you all. Don't forget... <clears throat> your moon and your rising sign as well. I just need to fix this a little bit, I think. Okay, so this is my, like a speaker thing, so you guys can hear me. All right, so the first card for Leo. Excellent. The Empress card. So this is how you're feeling about yourself. If not, you're just about to, okay, or you should be. I'm um, feeling rather pleased with yourself. Everything's going right in your world, okay? You are ripe and ready for changes, some people may be, you know, uh, becoming a mother or, you know, grandmother or something or, you know, having a baby. There might be a baby in the family. Sometimes this comes up, but it's normally with a whole lot of other cards. I need to kind of say it anyway, just in case. But other than this, you know, you're feeling, feeling abundant within yourself and feeling being that you're able to manifest things rather easily. And it's because of this grounding energy around you as well. Just like I was talking about this particular stone, you know, I'm grounding myself all the time with this stone and it's helping to be able to just say what I need to say, say what I mean and mean what I say kind of energy, you know. There is something that you are unaware of that is about to occur in your life, right? It's about to happen and <clears throat> it's something that is going to bring another round of uh, joy and happiness for you. It's like You've had a fair bit of this happening, but you've also had some concern going on in your life, right, for Leo? And it's like now you've turned another corner and now something even more amazing is about to happen. If it can get any better, it's just about to, okay? Let's see what else goes with this. This beautiful energy of abundance. See, because you've had the ten of wands, okay? So sometimes with this card, it's like, you know, carrying too much and, you know, burdening yourself with too much. But I don't feel like this is you anymore. I feel like you have freed yourself from burdens with the Empress card here. You know, you've really struggled hard to be where you are, but then you've learned how to manifest things through a way of thinking and a new way of seeing things and a new way of living, you know, which has released you from many of the burdens that you may have had before, okay? And along with this, you get the Queen of Cups energy too. So this could be you or someone that you know. And it's like full on happiness, joy. You know, this person is trustworthy and you can accept their advice. It may be yourself and you need to understand that you are also very receptive at the moment. That you are able to say what you mean. And that you're able to also very intuitively give guidance and uh, help to other people as well. Maybe you've been doubting yourself. This could also indicate that, you know, this could be the person that's going to have a baby. It could be related to you in some way um, or that you're starting a new business with this person, you know, because the fertility is there. Whatever ideas that you've got at the moment, okay, they may be really tiny right now, but they're going to bear a lot of fruit Okay, so it's really important that you put into place those ideas, those seeds, you know, into place. Those ideas, you know, whatever it is that's been coming forward for you that you start, you know, just working towards it. Okay, um, teaching and growing and helping people and opening up your business, whatever it is, there's no more burdens, no more ten of wands energy. Whoops, where is it? There's no more ten of wands energy for you because you know that that's not where you want to be. You don't want to be carrying everybody else and sorting everything else out and lifting everybody else. It's time for you, you know, to do something for yourself, which benefits everybody else that's around you anyway. Okay, so it's always the best thing. Um, okay, so for your spiritual card here, a conscious spirit. So we find, a, find out where you are spiritually or what you can be doing, how it's helping you. Whoops, I lost too many cards then. Okay, so... What do they need to know? What does Leo need to know? 
that's it. That Archangel Michael is with you, okay? So Archangel Michael works on clearing away any obstacles, clearing away blocks, clearing away energy blocks. If someone's sending you any negative energy, you ask Archangel Michael to clear that and trans you know, form that energy into positive energy. If you have an inkling that someone's sending you a negative crap, then do it. Don't leave it or don't ponder it or don't worry about it. Just, just clear yourself. I clear myself every morning and I clear myself every night. And if I feel something during the day, and it usually comes after I've made videos or something like that, um, if I feel some sort of negative vibe or whatever, it goes. I don't want to hang on to it because I don't want to go in that direction, okay? Remember that you've got Archangel Michael cutting away all the crap from your life. Remember to work with him. The message is that I'm grateful for the strength and courage Archangel Michael brings to my life, you know, bringing you back into the, you know, trueness of who you really are without having to give of yourself so much for everybody else. And if you can do that, then you move into this Empress energy, which was your main card, you know, of abundance and creativity and like a beautiful, you know, home space and the things that you want. And if you can hear things thumping around, it's just the little boy that's upstairs. He's a little baby and he runs and runs and runs around like a lot. He's got lots of energy, that little fella, you know. But um, we can hear him. <laughs> it's funny. But uh, yeah, so you're moving into this Empress energy or this is your energy now. So you don't want anything lowering you down. Don't think that you're ever burdening the angels, okay? They need you to ask. That's their job. They cannot, you know, just help you without you asking and expecting help to come. Don't just ask and then think to yourself, oh, well, that's never going to change. You're just staying in a negative cycle, you know, or attracting yourself back to a negative problem that, you know, you're trying to get rid of. So try not to do this. Um, so yeah, so for Leo, you're done with all the burdens and the worries and the concerns and you're living for yourself. It's working for you, okay? You're going to be able to create the abundance that you're looking for, maybe even bigger than you think. Some kind of surprise is coming for you that you least expect, like, you, you know, you can't even believe it and it's an exciting time. Maybe it's a gift from someone that you were not expecting. Whatever it is, it's a real joy to you and, uh, you know, it's a, a big surprise as well, which is awesome for Leo because we love surprises. Okay, so thanks for listening, Leo, and uh, being with us on the journey. Um, I'm moving on to Sagittarius now. Don't forget to check your moon and rising signs. So Sagittarius, um, <clears throat> I'm using three cards from the um, Fortune Telling by Tarot Cards deck prediction pack. Um, I'm also using a, to see where you are spiritually, we're using the, um, oh, here it is. Oh, the healer, I love this card. We're using the Conscious um, Spirit deck as well. Okay, to get an overview. So this is for Sagittarius. And um, remember that if you're listening, you can get a discount on any reading, healing or package, like combo, whatever. I can do you a, a deal. So please write to me, divinemiracles at gmail.com and you'll get a discount off of the normal price. Okay, so please write to me if that's something you're interested in. Okay, so... Welcome everybody and we call in the angels, guides, loved ones, ascended masters, healers, um, ancestors to be moving forward with us and surrounding us with light, protection, healing, abundance, help bring the right messages for those who are listening for Sagittarius and that the message is perfectly suitable for them and that you receive it on an intuitive level as well. Okay, three cards, here we go. One for Sagittarius, two and three. Okay, so I'm gonna turn them over one by one. So the first one is for Sagittarius, the seven of swords. Okay, so we had this with someone else earlier today. And traditionally the seven of swords is about a robbery or being ripped off or, or something like this. But more to the point is you've been starting to see yourself in a different light and you've been growing 
and you've been going through triggers of emotions and you know you've been shifting your way of thinking and your focus etc and you feel like you're being bombarded in some ways with other people's negativity or other people's views on things and it's like you've done all this work and here's all this like negativity or someone's being negative around you and it's really starting to affect you okay it's really not who you want to be where you want to go what you want to have so you're in this period of like what do I do kind of situation like where do I go from here and the best thing is that you all only ever have to be responsible for yourself you know you're responsible for how you react you're responsible for your feelings you're responsible for how you let other people affect you and if someone is affecting you negative negatively and you can't get out of their circle at all like because they live in the same house or something like this then you must create a block mentally within yourself to let it go because otherwise that person is going to drive you crazy or that situation will keep on going around in circles because it's never nothing's ever done nothing's ever completed like within it it just keeps going around in circles okay so you're feeling like you're being psychically attacked or someone's sending you negative emotions or someone's being that way with you and you're like why I'm trying to do all the right things kind of thing why am I getting all this crap so the only thing that you can do is be responsible for shutting yourself off that is how you deal with it you have to shut off and you have to imagine that that person goes away in wellness you know not you don't want to imagine the person going away and you know you're angry at them or anything like that we want them to to be removed in wellness okay so you're feeling a little annoyed that this person is taking over all of your energy and time and thoughts and feelings etc okay time to declutter de clear yourself detach 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 from any drama around you okay because here we've got the death so that's finishing so this energy of like uh is finishing okay the death card is like it's over it's done a new beginning is about to turn you know it's about to come into your life because you know you're not accepting crap anymore you're not accepting people walking all over you you're, you're just not going to do it because you can see where it's going you know or you shouldn't be doing it Sagittarius you know you need to have a backbone here and you know not allow people to just squash you and then you feel bad like you feel like you've done on the back foot someone says something to you and you're like oh my god maybe I have been doing this and maybe I am wrong and maybe 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 it's all my fault is basically what you're saying and it's like no it isn't and it's time that if someone is emotionally manipulating you in some way that it ends you know and you don't let it continue because otherwise you are going to um, <clears throat> if you let it continue you're going to be so drained you're going to be a come on well and you're not going to be able to fight this from the from the point that you're at now where you can you know you're going to feel drained out and wiped out and zapped you know and you are stronger than that don't you let anybody make you feel that way if you can change your reaction to the person you will change how your body reacts and how your life changes as well because of that reaction you know if we keep on doing everything in the same way you know we're never going to get a different result you know and someone I think it was Einstein said that you know that's an, a, insanity to think that way that you can just keep on going how you're going and it's going to somehow work out no we have to do something here and you definitely Sagittarius have to do something about this situation it's not you it's uh, you know it's a manipulative situation it's something that you're sick and tired of and you have to make a stand here your last card is the Knight of Cups so it could be that someone's coming forward to help you okay in in this situation generally the Knight of Cups you know all, all nights are messages of some kind this could be a um, male or female doesn't matter who it is but someone's saying hey here's an answer here's what you need to do I'm, go I'm willing to help you now let's do it because this energy here is very very extreme maybe you've just gotten out of this situation in uh, of, of someone emotionally manipulating you right maybe you've just gotten out of it and here's your reward for it you know someone coming forward and offering you something someone <clears throat> someone bringing some really good and positive news 
because you've changed your way of thinking and, and you've changed your living environment or you've changed something, it's got you away from it and your reward is on its way too, okay? <clears throat> Whatever the situation for Sagittarius, it's ending and a new beginning is happening. But you want it to be in your um, terms kind of thing. You know, you want it to be um, in your way of doing things and you don't want someone else taking over the whole thing. Okay, I'm just really feeling for some people that there's someone that um, <clears throat> tends to, I guess I'll say the right word, plug into some kind of emotion of yours that was unhealed. Okay, there was some kind of emotion that was unhealed and uh, you, <clears throat> when you met this person or you got into this situation or whatever, because that was unhealed, they were easily able to exploit that. Maybe you had bad anxiety or maybe you just left a bad situation or you're feeling bad about yourself or whatever. So if you were feeling bad about yourself and you come into a new situation and that person knows that you feel bad about yourself, they constantly try to make you feel bad about yourself, right? With all those trigger points. So this is what needs to change. The unhealed part of you needs to heal so that that never happens again, okay? And that's why they say, you know, we should always give ourselves time before we move into a new relationship or whatever it is. Give ourselves time so that those unhealed parts of ourselves have a chance to actually heal and that they're not squashed from healing by the actions of other people. Okay, so where you are spiritually, all right? But there is help available for you, Sagittarius, okay? It's all around you. All right, so here we go. And where you're at is crystal ascension. So the crystals are going to really help you too. I'm attuned to the universal wisdom and energy of crystal kingdom. And like I was saying, you know, using this particular stone, which I found at the gas station, which was just laying there and I could see the sparkle in the crystal has changed everything for me. Like I'm back. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm brought back into my own power. And I didn't realize how much of myself was scattered until I was back completely, right? So crystals are going to help you to get that power back too. And also you know, like being in nature and noticing the signs and picking up feathers and rocks and doing what I did, you know, picking up crystals and things um, along your journey. Um, you're, when you're into that high frequency, then the only energy you can have around you is also high frequency, you know? You don't want to keep having negative energy around you at all. None of us do. Okay, so it's time for you to make that decision. Maybe you already have, and this is saying, right, now you're attuned to the right frequency. Now let's see what you're going to do. You know, are you going to, are you going to um, put up with that again? Or, you know, are you going to go backwards? Or are you going to stay in that higher frequency where you can see things manifesting, where you can see things changing? You can see your life changing, you know. Stay in that energy. It's really important for you. Okay, Sagittarius, I hope that that was helpful and that you enjoyed your messages. And don't forget you can get more healing readings and combos with me at a discount by writing to me at divinemiracles at gmail.com. Okay, all the links are below to everything. Um, you can also text chat me or... Um, you know, we can just do a Skype phone call. I don't do video Skype. It's, I find it kind of creepy, to be honest. <laughs> so I do audio phone calls, which is cool. Then I can do my cards and have my hands free and all that as well. So um, until the next time, lots of love, many, many blessings and goodbye for now.